Many a times we are told Kenya is one of the most corrupt nations in the world, but we don't believe it. In today's video, we're going to look at some of the top con jobs taking place in this country as we speak. The first con job touches on cooking oil. This is a scam that is making a few people become thousandaires if there's such a thing in this country today. Here's the tip. Fresh fry, ingine ni fresh fry, ingine, ingine ni eh, top fry. Hizi yeah. mafuta sote, nime, nili, nilienda kule Nairobi, nikambiwa na jamaa. Ah, wakaniambia kwamba, tuko na promotion, na tunapeana mafuta. Mimo nilipo ona kwamba kuna promotion, na hapa mafuta ni chip chip. Ilibidi, ninunue hizi mafuta. Hmm? Ukifungua vizuri, Fungua vizuri, mafuta yenyewe, yuko na seal. Acha nifungue, mafuta yenyewe, yuko na seal. Nona? Mafuta yuko na seal. Lakini sasa, ile kitu ambajo na shangaya ni kama wameona sasa koning, lazima wangalia ile njenye wanaisa kulia nzuri. Wanakuwekia mbaka seal ambabo utanunua mafuta, wote ana sili iko sawa kabisa zili iko sawa lakini ndani sio mafuta eh? kama hii sasa nimepomoa nikafikiri ni mafuta wamerusha wame oil eh? oil imerushwa ndani ah hii sasa wacha nifungue hata hii kisu kidogo wacha nifungue uone taratibu kidogo uone unaona ah unaona Sawa. Naona? Ya tufungue. Tuangalie. Ukiangalia kwa karibu, ndani utaona ni mafuta. Hmm? Ndani, unaona ni mafuta. Naona? Lakini ni maji. Naona? Ni maji ya ziwechi. Inanuka mba sana maji ya ziwechi. Imechanganywa. Mbapo sasa, hivyo ndivyo nililambu wa. Nona? Nililambu kwamba nilanua mafuta ya mafuta ya ya promotion. Eh? Sasa haba nimepromotiwa kabisa. So na mambia Nairobi, taka mchanuke pia msibiwe. Haba mangiri simeenda mangiri. Haba mangiri simeenda sababu jamaa wali nilamba. Sinona mitungi tatu sasa? Eh? Asiona isi mitungi tatu? Sia. Isi mitungi tatu sasa? Hizi hivi Nilinunua elifu, elifu ngapi. Mm. Eh, kuna moja hipo hapa jama mungine na alisema meangukia. Eh? Kuna mitungi sasa moja hakuna hapa tulinunua elifu mbili, meanane. Tulifanyua, nini, tulifanyua pesa mzuri mpaka toka sana. Eh, hapa kama ni hiyo promotion, hapa tumeangukia kumbe, tumeangukiwa. Kwa hiyo wadao kama utakuwa unaona watu wanapitisha mafuta kama hii. Chukua rungu karibu fungua ndani ukipata tu ni hizi maji hizi za siwe je wanauza taandika huyo mtu mpaka ashangae taandika kama ni utaandika taandika kama polisi kwa karibu peleka yeye hapo kwa hiyo hivi ndivyo nililambwa eh hapo tu kwa Mombasa mtambo wa Mombasa cement hapo je ya kwenda kitengela hapo Sharom chunga sana chunga sana heri niwaambie msilambwe pia sababu Mimi ni sha rambu wa sichara, <laughs> sha rambu wapa ni mejua. Sahi sasa ndo naona na mwenzangu yeyote ambaye takuwa na bita iso barabara. Si vitu senyo unaona watu unakuambia kuna promotion tunawusa kwa bei kwa bei raisi. Usiwai karibia. Asante ni. I guess that confirms what we've always known. Cheap is always going to be expensive. And also it's either you buy it nice or you buy it twice. In this second video, you're going to see a woman who is in her late 40s from what I can tell and she is pretending to be shopping for clothes when in reality, she is trying to steal the vendor's phone. Here's a tip.
So those of you who are watching this from your workplace, I'd urge you to keep your laptops, phones, tablets, all electronic gadgets in the back room or on the floor far away from reach. Now, if you thought you were safe from the streets, Perhaps you don't leave the house so that you're not conned by these people selling fake cooking oil. You don't own a business so there's no one to run up on you and steal your phone and laptop through destruction and devious means. You believe that you're safe in your house. Here's a video of a tenant in one of the apartments in Kenya having their bike stolen within 30 seconds despite it having a bike lock engaged. Here's the tip. Now, if you're a business owner or you're skeptic about the area that you live in, what are some of the things you can do to prevent such occurrences from taking place? First up is install CCTV. It'll go a very long way in helping you and the police officers and the general public to identify burglars at any given time. Most of them are so sloppy, they forget to wear their masks or even at the very least to check for CCTV. Second thing is never trust anyone. Never. It doesn't matter what car they drive or if they drive or how expensive their suit looks or even their haircut. Let that not mislead you. I was once a victim. You know, you cannot be in Nairobi without being conned at one point. I remember I had a Nikon D3400 when I was in university and I had really saved for that thing for over a year. You save pocket money, you save this, so I finally bought it. But after owning it for a while, I discovered it can't help me. It has no external audio input, so it's technically useless for what I intended to use it for. So I put it on the market. I said, let me sell this camera, I get my money back because it's in mint condition. And then I can take that money to buy the furniture that I need because I was setting up a business back then. So I put it on the market. Gigi to be precise. I think at the time it was OLX. So I get a call from somebody. He asks me, where are you located? I give him the location, but he tells me, uh, I was to come there to check out the camera, but my car is having some issues and I'm having it serviced at Ngara. Can we meet at Ngara? I said, no problem. We met at Ngara right opposite Post Bank. At that point, I'm 19. So I'm thinking, I'm meeting the guy and he's driving. So this is somebody who looks like he has the money to give me for the camera. So I get in the car, co-driver. He looks at the camera, says it's okay. He puts it in the back seat. So the guy tells me, uh, the camera is fine. I've seen it. I've seen the warranty. Everything is okay. My office is right there. Let's just walk there. We leave the car here. I tell my employee to give you money from the register for the camera. Sounds legit. Again, you're 19. Yourself, you don't own a car. This is somebody with a car and he's in his late 40s, a gentleman. So you're seeing Dalilia Kulipua Eco. So we walked and we got to the office. Once I was there, he tells me, wait here. I'm getting the cash. I can see him walk in. So me, I waited. Turns out this office has a back exit. The guy left, walked back to the car through the back alley and drove off. I waited one minute, two, three, four, five. I felt this is very suspicious. I ran to the parking lot. He wasn't there. The guy at the parking lot, he's tasked to write the number plates of every car coming in and out. That specific car, he didn't write it down, meaning they're in cahoots. They're working together. I went to the police station. I don't know what it's called. Close to Ngara. They don't even bother helping you. What they tell you is, <laughs> oh, maybe a camera. Watch out, mungina maybe a gari. They're trying to console you by telling you someone else's problem. So the guy was never found. But such is the case in Nairobi and Kenya at large. So wherever you are, just always try to be safe. This is a very tricky country, especially with the high cost of living. You can be texting, someone steals your phone. You you leave your car. Axio is being stolen a lot in this country. If you're owning an Axio, you'd better install two or three trackers. These are some of the things which are being stolen. But either way, that's a deviation from what we normally do. I just felt I should give you guys a compilation because this country is getting out of hand. Now do drop me your comments in the comment section below. I'll do my best to read them and to give you a response. In the event you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Fuller. Hit the subscribe button and you're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. Alright guys, adios.